It's been described as Glastonbury for geeks. An event and a platform that looks at ways to ensure an AI-based society works for all. I caught up with the founders of COGEX, Tabitha Gold Storb and Charlie Muirhead in London. Tell me about COGEX. Where did the idea come from? The original vision was to put together a business that would help people uh, get educated, learn, understand, and we described that as discover, learn and connect around the thought leadership that matters to you um, so that we had the best possible chance of getting the next 10 years right. And what about the actual festival itself, Tabitha, because you started that in 2017. So it all started um, actually with sort of smaller dinners. So we like to think of them as kind of self-help where, um, you know, the heads of data science at the big banks or the insurance companies or professors, we'd get together and all sort of wring our hands because, as Charlie said, the pace of change was going so quickly. It was really hard to understand what the next best move was. And so together, we kind of created a bit of a, a you know, a, a quorum of people who would help each other. And some of them were, you know, in their, in their company not being listened to because they understood AI and data science. Cut to a year later, these people were like the kings of their business because AI and data science was suddenly so important. And that's when we decided that uh, it was right to bring these people together in a more festival format. So the first year we had 1,600 people, industry, government, civil society, academia, um, and it's grown a lot since then. <laughs> the speaker list, it reads like a who's who of people <laughs> from all the top of their fields, from business leaders to industry, Hollywood stars, you had Robert Downey Jr., Matthew yeah. McConaughey. Was that hard to put together and also how do you pick your speakers? Yeah, we try and find magic moments. So it's like, how can you bring two titans together? So my favorite was so Margaret Vestager talking to Martha Lane Fox. Two people who might be uh, used to having, um, you know, having conversations in, in, in a different way. They could meet as equals and have a real debate. And so that for me is the key. But we also have to encourage one another that getting digital skills is a real thing. Uh, a real thing for, for your social life, for your working life, uh, uh, for our democracy. As Charlie said, it's about getting the next uh, 10 years right. Who can say no to having a conversation about that with somebody that they've always wanted to meet too, in many cases. Mm -hmm.